My name is Rodri Davis, I'm a consultant cardiologist and I specialise in cardiac imaging, so echocardiography and MRI, but I'm also a computer scientist, so I split my clinical time with academic work at UCL funded by the BHF. And my research interests are in applying AI to improve the way that we use cardiac images. So my research will help patients in several ways. The first is that it will make things quicker, so quicker to get the scan, but also quicker to get the report afterwards. It will also free up the doctors to spend more time with patients. But the real benefit is in the accuracy in which the images are analysed. So a lot of decisions that we make in cardiovascular medicine depends on the the way the images are interpreted, and we make huge clinical decisions based on these. And what AI allows us to do is to make the right choice for the right patients. One of the challenges with technical work like this is actually translating it so that the patients actually get benefit from it. And the thing that we've done is we've used the most powerful computer in the hospital, which is connected to the MRI scanner, to put our AI on. So as the patient is being scanned, the analysis is being done. So by the time the patient has left the room, the analysis is complete. And this has allowed us to roll this out across the country as well. So we currently have it running at eight hospitals in the UK and also one in Italy and the US. We currently scan about 20,000 patients per year using this technology. One of the strengths of the approach that we've taken is that we've been careful to make sure that this approach is generic. So it works, for, it works on any scanner, it works for any disease, but most importantly it works for any patient regardless of age, sex or ethnicity. The end goal of the research is to integrate data together. So currently we have imaging data, but we'd like to integrate that with patient healthcare records genetic data, wearable data, etc. And this will allow us to gain new insights into the disease because AI can see patterns that the human eye can't. And this will really allow us to, uh, to personalise patient care. So the NHS and the huge amount of pressure at the moment, waiting lists are going up and you know, we don't have extra resources at present. So productivity and efficiency is going to help and AI is going to be able to help with that. This can make a real difference to patients. A lot of the decisions that we make are driven by the interpretation of images. It's absolutely crucial that we make the right decisions here. And this also has the potential of affecting a lot of people. We already run this on about 20,000 patients per year, and we'd like to make that more. AI has the potential to transform cardiovascular medicine, not just in imaging, but across the board. Um, it allows us to objectify decisions, it allows us to make them quickly, and it allows us to do things at scale. And with you know, the amount of data that we're producing rising is going to be crucial for that. It's an exciting time to be part of it. Mm -hmm.